Tiffany Calcutt of Harvest Nutrition and Wellness, your family registered dietitian, with the goal of making nutritious food easier. So today, we're going to talk breakfast, specifically crepes. Now, you've probably heard the saying about breakfast being the most important meal of the day, and I absolutely stand by that. So for children, breakfast gives them the energy they need for growing, for playing, for paying attention at school, and learning. And for us adults, it, breakfast can help stabilize our mood, help us manage our weight, and overall, it just builds the foundation and charts the course for a healthy and nutritious day of eating. So, don't skip breakfast. So, what makes these crepes extra special? We've made a few substitutions and alterations from an original recipe of Martha Stewart's. So specifically, this version of crepes should help you feel fuller longer and have sustained energy thanks to higher fiber. So I've substituted whole wheat flour for white flour. And then the second reason that they're better for you is they're heart healthier. So I've reduced the amount of butter and called for skim milk instead of um, whole milk. So that's another change. Let me show you the ingredients. Quite simply, there are six basic ingredients that you most likely have in your home. It calls for four eggs, one cup of whole wheat flour, two teaspoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of melted butter, and one and a half cups of skim milk. And the first step is super simple. It's actually just putting all the ingredients into a blender. And if you don't happen to have a blender, it's absolutely fine to use a bowl and a whisk and just really get some arm exercise in there. Um, or perhaps you have one of these immersion blenders at home, which are handy for making soup. Um, but since I have a blender, I'm just gonna put everything in there and we're gonna blend it for about a minute or two. Okay, so we're just gonna put the blender on, get it really well mixed up. Okay, so we blended the batter really well, whether it was in a blender or in a bowl with a whisk. If you did use a blender, you're gonna to wanna to let it sit for about 10 minutes afterwards just to let the air bubbles um, settle down a little bit. And then if you have a griddle, um, you'll either wanna make sure that it's just well seasoned or just put a thin layer of um, butter on it to make sure that you're not gonna have any sticking for the first crepe only will that be necessary. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit of the batter. It's usually about a quarter of a cup, but it's usually about the size that we make them because of the size of our griddle. Um, however, if you have a larger pan that you're gonna make these in, um, size them to your liking. This recipe will yield 12 crepes. So how do you know when to turn them over? Basically, you're going to gauge it on the bubbles rising to the surface of the crepe. So as you see right now, this one's getting quite large. It's not gonna be the most beautiful shape, but we're gonna look for bubbles to be coming through the whole surface. Okay, so this front one, you can see the edges are turning brown and um, I can kind of lift the corners a little bit. So once I sense that it's in solid form. I'm gonna flip it, but it's not quite ready yet. You can see the top is lighter and therefore not yet ready. Okay, so this looks like it's cooked all the way through and I'm gonna go ahead with my spatula and flip it over. Ooh, smells nice. So we're gonna give it about 30 seconds to a minute um, on the other side. And then I usually just like to move them over here to like a cookie tray. And then we get ready to work on the back one. So once you have all your crepes made, you're ready to plate it. And with this recipe, the serving of crepes is three, and that equals about 250 calories, and four grams of fiber, which is great for keeping you full, as well as a little bit more than 13 grams of protein. 
And in the US, protein and fiber tend to be nutrients that many of us fall short on in the morning. So this is a really tasty way to get them. And we can also look to boost more nutrients with the toppings. So some of the ones that are popular in our house, um, fruit, great. Um, fresh fruit or frozen fruit that's defrosted, both work equally well. So we'll usually just put the, the cut up fruit in the middle of the crepe um, and then fold over the edges and roll it right up. And then um, really just start eating it. Um, of course, since I'm from New Hampshire, I have to give a plug for some maple syrup on top. That's also very nice. And then um, cottage cheese is a great way to add additional protein to your breakfast. That's nice if you don't, um, if you're looking for a savory taste, as well as possibly even um, a piece of Canadian bacon or a slice of ham rolled up in there. All great tasting. So you can go the sweet direction or the savory. And any way you do it, I hope you like it. It's a really simple recipe. And um, please feel free to visit harvestnutritionandwellness.com for more details or the full nutritionals. And I hope to see you soon.